All right, welcome back, guys, to uh, Taste Panel for Chili Nerds, and we are on our 31st episode. Okay, and today I uh, am uh, bringing you another sauce, and again, it's Lancaster Brewing Company. All right, so uh, this was given to me by our uh, old buddy Jay that we know about from uh, past episodes. We've had their Creeping Dog and Ghost Dog, and uh, now he's uh, giving us a sauce aptly titled No Use for a Name Hot Sauce. So, all right, there it is. No Use for a Name. Alright, so uh, it is appropriate to take some hot sauce down tonight as uh, we're experiencing a virtual winter wonderland outside there as they are calling for 18 to 24 inches. Alright, so uh, for those of you in uh, more arctic climates, uh, that may be nothing at all. But around here, uh, that's pretty terrible. So... Uh, uh, not looking forward to that, but I certainly am looking forward to uh, partaking in this hot sauce. Okay. So, again, um, this is uh, a sauce I picked up at Lancaster Brewing Company in the Walnut Street Grill. And uh, that's located uh, on the corner of Plum and Walnut in uh, the city of Lancaster, PA. So, uh, yeah. So, every time I get down there, I... Uh, run into a treasure trove of uh, chili delights. So, um, so Jay made this one, and uh, uh, what's in this guy here is uh, he has uh, some of those, if you remember the ghost dog, they had some uh, smoked dried jalokia peppers on hand. So he did incorporate some of those leftover ones into his sauce. Uh, so we have some of those in here. Uh, we have some scotch bonnets in here. Uh, we also have some jalapeno peppers in here. Uh, we have some garlic and some minced onion, uh, as well as some uh, tomato paste and vinegar, and I'm sure there's a host of other spices in here that I don't know of. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look then at No Use for a Name Hot Sauce. All right, so... Uh, Again, I have this little uh, little container here. Uh, usually means a mess, but um, here we go. Uh, as you can see, uh, no use for a name is extremely thick and chunky. All right, so uh, this is not going to coat my spoon in any sort of uniform manner. So uh, hey, we're gonna take it the best we can. Okay. Uh, the aroma off of this sauce. I'm getting a uh, kind of a uh, tomatoey aroma, but that's really balanced well with uh, some uh, chili pepper aromas plus a garlic note going on there. Um, yeah, looks extremely chunky. Deep red, all kinds of all kinds of pulp going on there. I see some seeds in there, and uh, just all around zesty. So, uh, hey, let's partake in this one. Mm. Oh man! Wow. All right, um, we have a really firm body there. Lots of pulp going on, uh, biting on some kind of chewy slash crunchy seeds. It gives a good, nice uh, texture in my mouth. Um, right up front, you get a really, really sweet kind of tomatoey flavor from the tomato paste, no doubt. I'm, that's really coming forth as a nice sweetness. Uh, riding in the background, 
you're getting some of that smoky, dry, jalokia taste that we tasted in the, the ghost dog sauce, uh, which was much thinner. Um, maybe just a hint of those Worcestershire flavors that were very dominant in uh, in the ghost dog. Um, this one, however, though, wow, I'm getting a nice heat in my mouth. Um, the lips are just kind of going off, actually. Full burn pattern. Uh, back of my tongue. Um, up in the roof of my mouth, coming back behind my teeth. Kind of grabbing my whole tongue, actually. Front, I'm feeling it. So, wow. If I'm gonna, if I want to say something for this sauce, it's uh, it has a beautiful balance. I'm getting like, like when I first put it in my mouth, that nice sweet tomato tastes, and then just in the right proportion, that bit of smokiness just lingering in the back. And I'm getting some, and then you're getting a nice hob taste too coming in there with, with a, not, with a good heat. Nothing too intense, but definitely enough to ignite your mouth. And wow, just a virtual um, playing field of flavor. Mm, got some garlic in there and uh, onion and wow, what a really nicely balanced sauce with that hit of beautiful smokiness going on in my mouth. <laughs>